one concern I have seen people have is, well, what's going to happen if I want to run a, you know, a QT application? Like, you know, a lot of people are probably going to have something like Caden Live installed. How, yeah, absolutely. Are you guys going to be handling any sort of, tr or tr at least trying to handle some sort of consistent theming there as well? Or what's what's going to be the go-ahead there? There, There is a desire to. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the thing is, Pop! OS, when it releases with, with the Rust desktop environment, it, it, it will be still mostly GTK apps. Okay. It has to be. Because we're not going to be able to rewrite every single application. Right. And uh, it's just going to include those. And, and our process is going to be to, to generate themes for GTK and, and potentially for Qt as well. Mm -hmm. And I hope the KDE team is interested in this because we are interested in how can they port their, uh, their theme over into the Cosmic's theme configuration whenever they load up mm -hmm. KDE, the user so that our apps fit in right and when kde apps are inside of cosmic how can we how can we port our configuration into kde's theme configuration i think it's totally possible uh it just is something we will have to work on and i'm very interested in doing that mm. that's that, no that is really good because i know that's like I, I you know a lot of people are really concerned because you know the linux desktop for the longest time has just been QT, or Qt, whatever you want to call it, and GTK. So bringing a third player, or I guess a fourth if you're going to include Slint as well, bringing an extra player into this space, it has a lot of people worried about how it's going to integrate and what's... Because I, I don't personally care about consistent theming. Like, anyone who's seen my desktop, it's a disaster. But I know a lot of people out there really do care about it. So it is good to know that you guys do have at least that in mind. Whether it's going to be doable like, on a wide scale, and whatever is going to be doable with the GTK side, it's good to know that you guys at least have that, like, in your mind is something you do want to work on. Yeah, it's it's something... I I don't see it as, as a requirement, absolutely, because right. already the Linux app ecosystem is... It, it, it contains so many different applications with different styles and Just different throw toolkits. throw Electron in there. It's a mess. Yeah, yeah, it's um, the likelihood that a user is actually going to have a set of applications that all fit together is very low. And that's not just a Linux problem. That's also a Windows problem. It's also an Android problem. That's a problem anywhere where, where um, there is so much freedom in the creation of applications that each app developer is going to, to generate their own style and i i think that's acceptable so long as we are taking whatever steps we can do to make uh very common applications fit in uh and and be styled by the desktop environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i would hope that the, the a set of similar applications file manager terminal would would live in a, in any desktop environment and would fit in there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I am skeptical that it will actually be possible to the level that these users seem to want it to be. Uh, again, there are lots of different applications with lots of different design like uh, concepts, and mm -hmm. there is no way you're going to make all of them fit together. Right, right. Uh, but to the extent where we can, I would like to be able to port themes from, from KDE into Cosmic and vice versa. And there are some attempts to to standardize this at, at a free desktop level as well. It's kind of minimal right now with accent colors being considered. Um, we can probably go a little further than that with Qt and, and Cosmic integration. Because um, the accent color proposal really just makes the colors of the application match. Mm. It doesn't particularly make the sizes shapes of things match and and just the accent color mm. uh so there there is still a lot that would be not matching across toolkits right, right i don't think adding more players really changes the landscape that much it's not really fair to say there's only gtk and cute there are so many applications that are using custom toolkits or or using different toolkits that i i think it's 
I, and, I, and a lot I of them are pre installed. I guess what I meant there is like the, the major desktops. Uh, that's what they're using. Sure. Yeah, and so I, I feel like it's the default set of apps that should be most concerning, and then that uh, usually those are bundled with the desktop environment. Mm -hmm. The if you install Caden Live, you don't really want the interface to change such that it looks like an, a GNOME application. Mm -hmm. Uh, because a GNOME application that does video editing will look very different. It will have bit different UX design decisions. That's fair. Um, but matching, at, at the very least, matching dark and light mode mm -hmm. is a guaranteed thing. Matching accent colors is very close to being something that's standardized. Mm -hmm. Going beyond that is something that has to be done on a per toolkit level. Like from this toolkit to that toolkit, what do we want to synchronize? Right. Do we want Cosmic to output a KDE theme file for every KDE application that runs inside of Cosmic? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's something we should try, but if it ends up being bad, I would, I would easily go back on that uh, if it ends up not looking right or not working right mm -hmm. or being being too much of a hassle.